Smiley testing. This is, it is currently 12.35 p.m. I am Francesca, the coordinator of Train of Thought, I'm going to be testing a couple things before we start. So uh, note to self for future recording stuff is you are free to delete them as necessary. Uh, there is also options to pause the recording and pause the screen share, which is really important. So don't forget those things. We also have video. You can share audio. If you want to pause the recording, it's Alt P. Stop the recording, Alt R. Let's see. You guys can show names as annotators. Yes. I'll share computer sound, optimize, share for full screen video clip, turn on original sound. Okay. Very interesting options. We also have polls. You can make polls, which is very nice. Currently viewing the check in form. And this is just something I made to, in order to keep track of what everyone is doing. That way it's a little bit easier in keeping progress of what is being done week by week by week. And just a simple format is whatever task here spaced by a comma is equivalent to a slash here, which shows the percentage of that specific detail in completion. There's also a note on if it was shared examples via screenshots or it was shared via screen share on said uh, Zoom in previous classes. We have the date of which I was informed and the time in which I received this information. And this probably won't be daily just because I feel like not a lot is done within a day and we're all students trying to do a thousand classes at once. So I'll be respectful to that and consider this perhaps maybe every other day starting weekdays, which would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and excluding weekends, unless absolutely necessary to do an extra weekend. A meeting on the weekend. So I will be probably planning to do a check on that kind of a situation. Besides that, I have the check in from last uh, previous Monday, or this previous Monday. And so far, the percentages are well. Um, we did really need the blocking of the first train car will be slightly modified. But that blocking will be very important because a lot of the elements in other train cars need that specific size parameter. So that way we can have more accuracy and making sure everything is cohesive. Moving on to a couple other different situations. Sorry, I need to resize this. It's just the bar goes right on top of the thing I need. And that's unfortunate. Uh, this is the Gantt chart. And this Gantt chart is what we're using to see how complete a project task is. Some of them got canceled due to the situation we have with the global pandemic of the coronavirus. And because of such a thing, we are not going to, for the time being, until things have been verified to be safer, uh, any forms of trips or travel just for the safety of our teammates and other scenarios. However, I did want to keep them there to know that we did initially plan for these, but sadly they were not accomplished because of situation that it's affecting everyone on a global standpoint. Moving down, we are going to see that this we have everything divided in blocks of the pipeline, which is story organic team, modeling team, FX team, lighting team. We, we have a couple of lighting artists, it's not that big. Um, texturing team, rigging, and animation. We probably have other teams, but they were just not clarified within this due to the fact that we will be doing everything in Unreal Engine. And so we are mimicking a standard production pipeline for a video game with kind of a little bit of everything happening at once. So we have someone still working on story. I am doing storyboards and going to need to do the new story beats of different rooms. And I will use a couple of the other rooms as examples. Um, Chili is currently doing a draft of the script and going down beat by beat. Um, character design, I have released my participation in that. I did find our designated person of interest for the inspiration of the design, but 
I will be releasing the control of sculpting and prepping the full body character to Houston and he's doing a really good job currently so I'm totally fine with that. Moving down further we have different percentages in which these are all things that we would like to have done but they are not in progress yet because we need to prioritize uh, the things in bold which is what is necessary by the end of book dev. Currently we have a lot of scenes blocked out. John needs to still work on the hall, on the hall of stress. He's currently repolishing the train station. We have the hospital scene and a bunch of other scenes blocked out appropriately. We have a bunch of certain key models. One key model, which will be a hero model, is a specific camera. That's the Instax Y300. It's something that is a sort of memento item referencing towards our character. So that one needs to be done. There is also a very specific tree that will need to become a sculpted hero asset. We have a collection of creatures, which is the leviathans and the tree creature, each being passed on by different people. They're currently in rough sculpt state, and so we do not want to progress too far further on them until we have a bit more of a security with the characters we need to do. Young Damien, which is the younger child version of our main character, Damien. At minimum, we need to have the young adult version of the friend character, Damien and the rest are still on kind of to be progressed on. Chile also has accomplished working on an asset list, which is at 90%. The only room and slash beat that has not been clarified for its asset list is the last one, but this is due to a couple uh, scenarios needing to be worked out in the story development process first. Next is a couple different things within the FX that needs to be researched. Ben is our majority research for how to do FX in Unreal Engine. This one has been bumped, which is the ferrofluid fluid test, to stretch goal since there is no clear definition of how to accomplish this, sadly. So in alternative, we're going to have to do uh, other variations or see if we could find a similar substance that we can try to re-tweak into a ferrofluid fluid like material. But for now, we're going to just scratch it temporarily and focus on other key things such as smoke, fog, potentially snow, um, other types of particles, hair and cloth simulation. And specifically, the main concern is ensuring that hair and cloth are simulated um, for Unreal Engine for our character Damien. He will also be textured. I'm the other position besides coordinator as a texture artist, so I would hope to like to texture Damien, but if anyone else would like to enjoy that. Currently, Isaiah is doing a lot of room study research, which I will show examples of soon. Um, and for the rigging team, there is a couple of people, including myself, who are willing to rig. Um, it's just we need to ensure we are using the correct rigging pipeline in order for it to be seamless into Unreal because what we've been having issues as what Connor has been researching, especially with the Motion Builder Live link into Unreal Engine, is that we have a situation in which the base mesh of the character is being separated from the joints used in the rigging, which is unfortunate. And uh, so we need to ensure that when we rig them, either they have to be compiled together before being inputted into Unreal Engine, um, potentially sent out as FBXs with preloaded animation, or a couple other alternatives to try to solve this, this issue. Thankfully, we don't have any scenes that are meant to be live interactives, as in a character interacting with another character in live time and motion. Um, we don't also have anything that seems to be in the complex sense that could not be treated as a cinematic. And so we will keep everything in first person perspective, as in the perspective of we are viewing through the eyes of our protagonists, not in any shape or form in relation to FPS shooters, because that's an easy misconception and that's not the goal of this particular project. There will be high tense kind of difficult emotional scenes but we don't have anything that is of a violent nature and we will hope keep everything to be sort of on this sick kind of vocal narrative and introspective of the mind and perspective of our main character in which you will be playing throughout the journey of this game as for animation team we have a butt collection of really amazing animators john and Ryan are both really excellent at what they do. I really adore their animations. And so I know we're gonna have a really good amount of time for the key moments to be properly animated, hopefully by hand. Otherwise, we do have other possibilities for such as using Motion Builder and MoCap system in order to get a lot of the animations for other scenarios scrubbed out and done out of the way. 
thankfully. We have a lot of these things kind of in understanding from previous generations of the DAX student projects and previous film projects that we won't have to necessarily feel too lost on how to use such technology and tools. We kind of have a good understanding of those tools. Moving on from our Gantt chart, this is just my collection of forms. And so this Google Doc is shared to all team members in which it will keep a collection of everything that's really important for us, at least that needs to be shared on a temporary basis. Um, I do need to kind of make sure there's emphasis on we can't put gigantically large files, but that shouldn't be too bad of a problem. And as for what we are currently in most urgent need is we needed this first car blocking so that way it would be able to be used for other scenes. Thankfully, Isaiah made sure to upload that so everyone would have access to it. And I'll remind everyone that you should have access to it and triple check today that if they don't have access to it, then we need to figure out uh, either how they get access to this Google Drive or if we would need a designated Google Drive just for train of thought file transfers. I have considered that. And hopefully we don't need to go to that unless the file storage, if my drive gets completely overblown, that happens sometimes. Uh, these are just some previous old documents, such as uh, when we were doing travel, um, what was the cost per person, uh, a agenda for a very specific one, and some notes and pipeline. This one's kind of one of the older documents because it was just going over what we might need for pipeline. How do we do this? How do we do that? What kind of planning? Um, we needed to go for in other situations. And so this was an approximate. It is currently being reworked for the planning dates of the chart, just because due to coronavirus, I needed to completely redo all of the different aspects of everybody's um, time management. If we can't do in-person e meetings anymore, and so we had to cancel all forms of travel. And so now we need to, to completely convert to an online sort of uh, distance format. And while I know a couple of us are able to do content at home, not all of us are able to. So we need to be able to be considerate in people who have to remote in and that there might be delays or technical difficulties with internet services and other sorts of workarounds we have to do. Um, a lot of it has resulted into a lot of cloud sharing uh, situations and trying to focus on getting those kinds of things down. Uh, this should be check-in for today. We need to open that. And so this check-in file, this bottom section is a copy-paste from Wednesday, but it is how I tend to usually method. And if you are curious as to why is there a bunch of asterisks and a little at everyone everywhere, the, a copy of this is usually transferred into Discord, which is our kind of more relaxed social system. Zoom is used for more like official sort of setup meetings and the kind of things along those lines. And so this is just pre-set up to be able to format correctly to how it should look in Discord as equally as it should look in here. So the double asterisks are for bold and et cetera, et cetera. I could go on and on, but this is just kind of me detailing what I have worked on so far for this project in sort of organizational forms. Hello. It is a Cameron. Welcome. Hi. How's it going? Good. I was just doing some test audio stuff and sort of like testing the recording stuff. So the beginning sections just kind of like I, I came in 30 minutes early. And so since this will be kind of recorded for future notice, it's just kind of me explaining all of the document nonsense. Oh. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's meant to just kind of be in case I need to post this, then I can be like, okay, attached to website. This is kind of an in-depth breakdown of absolutely everything we're doing. Yeah, that's <laughs> just smart. for just for Howard and Paul, because I do want them to understand like in clarity what we're doing. And yeah, just in, sure. in general what we're doing. I'm sure they would appreciate that. Yes, so I just have like a couple documents open, which is the check-in for today, which I'm pretty sure isn't going to be too different from Wednesday, uh, depending on what has been updated, what hasn't been updated. Uh, our Gantt yeah. chart, which is a wonderful giant list of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant list of chaos forever. Yeah, um, and then my check-in document. And then I just was like making sure to like show uh, we do have uh, currently uh, the first car blocking Isaiah uploaded it yesterday at 930 
So if anyone needs this first car blocking, it is available in the Google Drive. Um, I just need to make sure that like everyone's able to access it. I know I sent an email to everyone's student emails to be able okay. to access it, but if you want a different email, just let me know and I will add that to the share list. So that way no, you that can one access is it other ways. Yep. Yeah. Because I've had people like some people prefer the like Google to Google and other people prefer different methods to access it. But I thought that at least at minimum the share link should be fine. Yeah. But yeah, that should give everyone access to these things. Hello, Ryan. Welcome. I don't see a mic or a camera available, so that's interesting. I know it, it shut my camera off, I think for some reason when I joined. Yeah, mine has, like, I have it set up a particular way where it's like, it doesn't have to be turned on in the beginning. But I can see if I can tweak those kinds of controls. So I'm gonna stop screen sharing. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it depends on people's personal preference. I'm like, do you want to join with the camera or not? So it automatically turns it off. I just have it automatically turned off, turn off in case of like, yeah, you don't want to do that right now. <laughs> yeah. I've been using my iPad, so it just sort of starts up that way. Yep. But yeah, I just prefer the option to turn it on or off on your own accord, because just out of personal comfort, I don't like being in immediately face cam right when I come. <laughs> yeah, especially at the start of class when everybody's in there and it's just like you pop up on everybody's screen right when you join. It's weird. Yeah, so that's why I think I, I remember to set it automatically to turn off, and so. Yeah, if there's any moments where I think we're going to go on a tangent now, pause the recording and read and start and continue the recording. But hope I'm hoping we don't get too bad on a tangent today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it happens in class too, so it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> It'd just yeah. be about the same. It's interesting being on a host perspective because you can um, do breakout rooms and a couple other options as well. I just don't know if video is permanently turned off for everybody or not. I don't think it is, but... Oh, I think that should be fine. Okay. Let me know if you guys are having any technical stuff happening. It's weird having this perspective because it's not the same as a student. There's like a lot of other menus and stuff appearing on the screen. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what is all this? Yeah. Uh, oh, multiple participants can share simultaneously or one participant can share at a single time. I didn't know that was an option. That's both really intriguing, but also it might be a little bit confusing. So we'll see if that's usable. Yeah multiple screen share at all times. That, uh, that sounds like fun. Okay. We shall see how many of our trained peoples come in today. Yo. Hello, Ryan. What's good? Why does this look weird? I know, it looks different from the other ones and it's kind of like bizarre to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I don't know if like it's like a slightly different version for teachers and students. Uh, it's just like very strange to me. I'm gonna turn that on, see how that goes. Oh. Ah, that looks more normal. It does look more normal. There we go. I think it was because that I need to start with video, apparently, in order for it to look like the other format. So I, I guess there's a way to just turn on and off a video. And like, I guess that's the version when video is just permanently off and only audio is allowed. So that's great. Gotcha. So I'll note that I need to have the video option turned on. So that way it'll format to what we're used to. Oh, this is a delight. <laughs> ben, you'll have a hand raised. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just switched out my keyboard so you guys don't have to listen to that shit nonstop. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Clicking. Right. 
I didn't even think about it until Houston brought it up yesterday. Yes, lovely mechanical keyboards. I love the sound of mechanical e keyboards. It's just I do know it is indeed a, it can spike the mic a couple times when you're on a recording or yeah. a video. <laughs> I'm like, I hate push the talk because I always end up hitting control and I'm just too used to having push the talk on control. Oh, yeah. So in my, I'm like clicking it nonstop and I hear that like noise. It's like click, click, click. <laughs> I am not used to like, I, I think I'll try to keep this a more relaxed setup. Um, I probably just gonna preemptively, I, I, I'm i gonna start probably the meeting stuff a little bit earlier in the day because I'm using that as like a recorded recap section. So just going over everything that's been discussed in the previous week and then just continuing our discussion. So that gotcha. way it's just all like kind of prompt and pre preset to go. Don't blind yourself then. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just bright oh. light. For real. The brightest light. It is absolutely freezing and I hate it, but I happen to live in the coldest room possible, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the basement, so it's freezing in here. I'm just like, as much as I would love to just be completely covered in my blanket, uh, I I need to be in not as weirdly <laughs> unprofessional blanket clothes. I have a little heater going right next to me. So. Uh, oh, yeah. that helps. oh, I have one under my desk. I should turn it on. Yeah, <laughs> probably should. I don't have one, and I need to get one. <laughs> and I'm gonna die. Although I I am a little paranoid because it's still like ridiculously cold. Because Colorado likes to be ridiculously cold, and I don't want any of my computer stuff getting cold shocked again. Because that happened to a microphone I had like a couple years back, and I that was so disappointing. It was just dead. Well, I'd imagine, yeah. It was like, well, that's that was a waste of a hundred something dollars. <laughs> but oh well. Sadly, we didn't find the receipt to return it until like it was past the return point date, so that was a bummer. Um, just a personal reminder is that I'm kind of postponing setting up my PC and building it together until I can ensure this room is not a freezing icebox because <laughs> I don't want to shock this computer. I'm going to pester people on Discord be like, hey, don't forget. <laughs> I will annoy you. Don't forget. <laughs> Looks like Connor's in Discord active, but he'll probably hop in here in a minute. <laughs> I, I did name it exactly what Connor told me to name it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> not going to lie. It's not very PG, but whatever. I'm like, well, we are too relaxed for that bullshit. And I will have to put a little disclaimer in the beginning of, hey, sorry, Howard slash Paul. Uh, I don't care for cursing. <laughs> Just a personal note. I don't care. <laughs> John, John's don't like, shoot. John, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what happened to John? I'm like, it's no different from the other ones. The only like perk is that I made this specific link a recurrable. So it's this, it's going to be the exact same link every Friday. So we're not clicking a thousand different links like a crazy person. Right. Which I genuinely think the teachers should have done, but oh well. That's <laughs> Probably. I'm just like, why, why do you need a thousand different links? I, I don't know. <laughs> This makes it a pain to set up every day, but I don't know. It's interesting the different versions of setting up Zoom in which I think Steve's variation of setting up Zoom is pretty good. I, I'm tired of getting announcements, but we'll, we'll, I, think, we'll, like, I think everyone's just in a learning curve. Also, please leave a mental bubble of Paul and Howard may see this at some point in time, maybe. I don't know, depending. Uh, so don't say things that maybe you don't want them to hear. <laughs> yeah. Which part, the Zoom or the Discord? The Zoom, not Discord. I was like... <laughs> Discord's our chill zone. <laughs> like, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Just because I know that this is like I am recording these particular Zoom meetings, and since okay, it's like yeah. an extra meeting of our look dev progress, so that way it's like here's what we were talking about, 
and we're here's proof that we talked about this. <laughs> yeah. Makes it a little hey, easier. Well. It's gonna murder the hell. Like I, I heard that the Zoom files that these things make are pretty big. So I'm gonna fear the upload time when I have to upload this. So <laughs> not gonna be fun. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Welcome, Connor. Hey, -o. welcome. Yes. <laughs> Now I'm going returned. to go through the teacher relapse of like, let's see how many people actually remember to come in today. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see, it's getting hectic today. Yes. <laughs> Got to write a paper while we're doing this. I'll focus on here primarily, but. I'm in a similar boat. All my stuff's piling up. Yes, yeah. everything's piling up. Um, for me, it's like, I just going to do full time working on animation, full time working on dynamics, if I can, and get all that rendered out and compiled as soon as possible. Because yeah. it's going to drive me insane if I don't. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, guys, I fixed my Houdini. It works at yes. home now. Yes. Cool. Do you want to know the really stupid reason why it wouldn't? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so I had an app because I have an MSI motherboard. And MSI uses Nahimic for 3D sound solutions for like 3D audio. Okay. Apparently, just having Nahimic on your computer completely fucks up Houdini and makes it immediately crash. <laughs> All of them. I like I downloaded previous 18, I downloaded 17.5, none of them would work. I'd place a node down and it would crash immediately. And then I finally like hunted down a side effects forum post that said, Yeah, this was happening to me, and I just uninstalled Nyamic and everything worked fine. And I did that, and it worked fucking fine. I have no idea why it is black magic. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. it's weird but when it's, it's like a 3D audio app. I don't even use. <laughs> I didn't even use it. It was just existing on my desktop. And it's like, nope, fuck you. Your Houdini doesn't get to work. <laughs> All right. Just gonna like pre note for everyone that pops in. Uh, I will have this recorded and it may be shared with Howard and Paul. So just keep a mental bubble, treat it like a class period. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just so that way it's so like. We can't... Yeah. So we <laughs> this can't is... say fuck Howard. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> <Get to me. laughs> don't, don't make me have to edit this. I don't want to edit this. <laughs> well, I don't think you'll have to edit I that out. I'm pretty sure Howard will get the joke. <laughs> Oop, one sec, my mom is calling me. <laughs> I love that it's Monster Hunter music. <laughs> uh, my brother is a big Monster Hunter fan, so that's why I remember that. She's calling, entering in. gonna be hard for me to keep an agenda other than just usual we talk about stuff and see how everyone's doing pretty much that's the goal for today i'm just gonna see if chili fell asleep because that may have happened <laughs> i missed the intro to that what, what what's the thing you were saying um so uh general when we when it like maybe like 10 minutes past one, uh, we're just gonna be doing kind of a check-in on what everyone's doing, a bit of kind of discussions of like, if you're running into issues or how we can solve potential issues and start planning for what will eventually be a lot of issues, just because that's kind of the point of LookDev. And um, just a personal side note of uh, treat this as if Paul and Howard would come in because I, I am recording this and they may see it later. So this is just kind of like a, hey, here's a, we did this meeting and proof of what we discussed and all that fun stuff. It's going to okay. be a terrible upload time, but I'm accepting that pain. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm just going to make sure I message Chili and that they didn't sleep in. We got John. My only fear is I hope Chili's not in VR because Chili's not going to get this. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta set up my VR. Yes. Uh, technical difficulties. Hi, John. Just an FYI, I'm like also still at work, so I might have to dip out at some point. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, uh, they consider this as kind of extra impromptu. You don't need to do this if you don't have to. Um, it's more of a just keeps us all on, on the same page every week. 
because I no. think I'm going to be changing my check-in schedule to just be kind of like the class period. So Monday, Wednesday, and just adding Friday. Um, just so that way we have a weekend of a little bit of mental peace. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we need that. Just a little. Just a little bit. <laughs> so uh, that's how I'll be doing our check-in schedule from now on. So it's just going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Cool. Which I, I think checking more than three days in a week is a little, is like really like bigger production. You have to check on like 20 plus people and uh, we're 10. So <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> yeah. Also, because I, I just personally don't think like not progress will be made within a single day. So you need a spacer day to work on stuff. Mm -hmm. so, just being a little bit more understanding. I also need to like go over our calendar. So we're currently, I think, in research phase. So making sure everyone has Unreal Engine. Got to do that today <laughs> for my computer, even though I'm going to probably install it in the new computer later. But for temporary sake. <laughs> I know. So, yes, we're going to be start playing around with Unreal Engine. Oh, John's finally here? Yes, John is here. I've been here, buddy. <laughs> you bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It's John, what do you expect? <laughs> yep. We shall see how this goes. The only perk is that this does not count towards attendance because this is our own schedule. So, <laughs> less concerns of like I'm not. We're not. I don't expect grades for this. This is just like extra credit. Here's here's stuff. You're welcome. Be happy. <laughs> well, I guess luck, luckily most of us don't have shit to do since we're locked inside for a right. month or two. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> That's the yes, only yeah. perk of like I'm just stuck at home forever. Right. Yeah, I know, right? We're all quarantined. I was happy. I had cat time yesterday. My cat came in my room and was like, I'm laying on you for like an hour. And I'm like, yes. I yeah, need those, this. Are, those are the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had... just like, I want pets and you're going to provide them. And I'm like, cool. Sounds good to me. Yeah, you like, uh... I like dogs. They do that every day. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, too. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> It's just the when it's a cat, it's just earned. You somehow earned this. It's like a special occasion. <laughs> oh yeah. But the best is this was our uh, Tabby Aries, and she fucking hates most people. <laughs> but like, she loves like everybody in our family, and then is completely averse to everyone else or any other foreign animal. Like when my sister got a puppy, oh my god, she hates that puppy still. She avoids him. <laughs> when she like comes inside, she'll see the dog stare at him and then walk back outside. <laughs> that's some sass yeah that's some cat sass that's why yeah. she started coming in my room because the dog normally doesn't come in my room and he kind of avoids it just because i close my door a lot so he like isn't super familiar with it but she'll come up now and be like he won't come in here <laughs> on discord <laughs> Woo. Oh, what page? I gotta look at it again. Seven. Okay. And yes, Connor, it was exactly named as you requested. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just so you know, this is going to be the same link for every Friday, so you don't have to worry about like opening a bajillion different links because no uh, of which um i wish the other teachers thought about that but okay <laughs> but it's fine um so yeah i'll start kind of getting screen share open for check-in stuff what oh wow I can do a whiteboard. I can do iPhone, iPad. I what is okay? They give you more options: basic, advanced, portion screen, content from second camera. Oh, that's fun. There's a lot of fun options in here. Hello, Chile. Chile is still connecting though. I'm gonna just go to Google Chrome, but I'm gonna try out the whiteboard. See how that goes, and test it out after I'm done with our check-in. Nice. So 
because I don't know what that does, and I am a curious Frenchie who needs to know how everything works. <laughs> <laughs> I like to know a program in and out to the point where I feel like I became like uh, trying to IT <laughs> the teacher. The one with the program. I am one with. It. You must become one with the program. Ensure that you understand what is happening. And the chili gallops away. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I'm just going to type in mine first because I can mentally know how that's going. So this will be 100% because we're doing, we did all of our check ins. I'm still working on new storyboards. I don't think there's going to be too many new ones since we're all kind of chugging along already. I will only add a new one if we have like a major scene that's been added that needs to be illustrated. Just for the sake of sanity. <laughs> uh, that should be 100% as of today. Good question. Can you guys hear my laptop clips? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't. Very yeah, faintly. Like the little thump. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, should I have organized this in alphabetical order? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe not. Random whatever Frenchie typed it in as order. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It works. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a drink. No That's worries. <laughs> Thankfully, Cameron's on the bottom of the list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. So any updates on uh, dynamic testing for Unreal Engine, Ben? I haven't done anything since Wednesday for this stuff, so. Of course yeah. you haven't, Ben. How dare have you? you? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Man, shut the fuck up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Savage. It's, a, it's okay. I haven't done much either. So. <laughs> you haven't done any. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of the pot calling the kettle black there, John. <laughs> yeah, I was like, excuse me, kid. Okay, and I'm assuming uh, like you're still working on retweaking the D&D &D scene. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, Connor. Uh, we yeah. know that the motion builder live link's working, so that's yes. fine. Yes, the motion builder live link is working. You can throw keys on it. Um, then, uh, so far, next... that's the most effective way to get animations in. Uh, I'm going to try testing a pre-baked animation. I might just do like simple like wave hand or something with Asri and try to get that in. Okay. I also want to test out some of the rigging stuff in Unreal because it seems to be more procedural. Okay, we're going to add rigging. But okay. I might also want some more help with physically rigging because that's not something I'm real familiar with. Okay. Uh, I did share screenshots and stuff of everything that I was working on, at least for the secondary blocking and for the motion builder stuff. Yeah, some of you guys also had a via screen share in which you did it during the Zoom uh, meeting for class on Wednesday. So I have a side note on you can also uh, share it via on this particular Zoom to be like if you want to have a video example i'll be like hey it's also in the zoom meeting we did cool on that cover bases yeah just some probably about 60 percent on the blocking okay so that one's being worked on i, I still want to work on it a little bit more get some clear pathing and testing and, and then, then rigging is going to be getting started yeah getting started i found I found some Unreal tutorials on like control rigging. I have some links. I'll dump them in Discord later. Yes, that'd be good. Should I change these slash slashes to that other one that is rarely used, which is this dividing line? <laughs> Visually looks nicer. <laughs> these are the things that go through my mind every time. <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't look clear. It looks like a jumble of mess. I need to fix that. I'm just going to copy paste that little spacer and save me a headache. <laughs> okay. 
Um, he, I have kind of like a pre one for Isaiah just because he did update a lot of that stuff yesterday, which there is a, on the train of thought Google Drive link, there is the first car blocking that you can download and kind of compare the sizing for the current moment. I do know that we mentioned it was, it's probably going to get tweaked due to it looking a little narrow from the screenshots. Okay. So. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Yep. So that way you guys have it and we can like readjust everything based off of that block blocking. And we need to keep a mental note where if you know your asset's going to be shared with someone else, then we got to keep a mental note of, hey, let's make sure that that's accessible for everyone else to grab. Not IT. So computer stuff is what Chili was at. Um, computer stuff's at like 70. 70 currently. Yeah. The current setup. We can I look have at it. a computer on one tiny block and <laughs> the tower on the other tiny block. <laughs> and I am currently using one of my art boards as a desk on my lap. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so wonderful. Uh seventy percent in the fact that I don't have a desk, but also I tried to buy a converter because this has one display port and two USB-C ports. But <laughs> with oh, that, no. it means that I can't use my TV as a second screen. So I, I got this that converts USB-C to um, SD, micro SD, three USBs, and a uh, HDMI. But it doesn't work for the HDMI. The HDMI port on this converter works because it worked for my mobile studio to my TV. But for some reason, when I plug it into this computer, it doesn't do anything. And the other ports on this work for this computer because I used it for like plugging in a mouse and stuff like that. It just doesn't register for the uh, HDMI. So I have to go to another plan because I still can't plug my tablet into this big hefty machine to be able to use ZBrush. I might just have to always use ZBrush on my uh, mobile studio, but in that case, I need to take the time to set it up probably with the help of Ben telling me where to click and not click. So. Oh. Yep. So oh. That's, that's the setup. No, I mean, I can do that. I was just. Oh. Yeah. It was just funny the way you said, you're like, oh, <laughs> very, very stunned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard my name and I'm eating a sandwich, so I was like, oh. <laughs> I like that you have like a little coffee symbol next to your name in participants. <laughs> Need a break. <laughs> sandwich break. <laughs> there is, yeah. So that's the current state of my setup. I'm currently sitting in my lazy boy with all of my computers on separate little blocks. All of my computer on tiny little blocks and a board to hold my mouse and keyboard. The setup is the same type of mess, honestly. I have, like, my laptop on a bar stool. I'm chilling in a Lazy Boy, and I have my main computer hooked up to my 4K TV across the room and another TV to my right side. I wish I could hook my computer up to a TV. That'd be great. <laughs> But for some reason, it's just against HDMI's. Only problem with using a TV is it's like it's nice and like slow, so it doesn't feel as. I mean, as yeah. just a screen, it's not bad. But if you actually want to do things on it, then yeah. Yeah, I mainly want it so that I can like put reference up on the big TV, and so I can glance over because one screen after being at the DAC with two screens is really. Yeah, it's yeah, really it sucks. <laughs> It it's sucks. really, really bad. I hate it. So I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for what to do because I, I want to plug in my Cintiq, but I can't because Cintiq needs a display port and it has one display port. So it, the thing is it only works with display ports, but it only has one display port. Yeah, that's weird. And two USB-Cs 
and my Cintiq won't do that. Like it won't go through USB-Cs, right. ironically enough, because it has only USB-Cs on its side. So you'd think that a USB-C to USB-C would work just fine, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do. I can't get my tablet in and I can't even get a second monitor in. So I guess I'm just stuck with one monitor, which sounds like really petty, but it mildly slows down my work when I'm like, cause I had to work on job stuff for the past day. Like I was working all day yesterday just to get stupid texturing ships of ships done. And, um, I needed to look at my reference, but there wasn't enough room on the screen to keep them both both up, like split the screen in some percentage. So I had to just like minimize my stuff every now and again and look at my reference and then maximize it again. So you you can buy a USB-C to HDMI. Yeah, a dongle. Yeah. Dongle. I might try that next. I bought, I bought this dude for like 30 bucks. It's a what? good one. Yeah, that... It will be useful, but it kind of feels like a waste because it doesn't work. It doesn't work? What is it? It's a, a flip how. And it works with everything else. It's just the, it's not working with the computer. Oh, that's that weird. Like my, my mobile studio plugs in just fine. Hmm. Huh. So. Yeah, I mean, if it becomes that big a deal, I would just, yeah, try and find something on Amazon like USB-C to HDMI or... Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably that's probably what you want. Well, or this, um, this was USB C to HDMI, oh. and it didn't register. I think, I guess uh, the next test would be USB C to DisplayPort. Right for your tablet. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I was thinking. Um, or don't have it plug in. Like for your TV, have them both be male connections. So maybe that would be different. I don't know because that looked like male to female, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe that would work. Yeah. Ah, okay. I don't uh, know. Next is uh, you got the programs you need to work on stuff. Yep. Uh, cool. All but ZBrush is set up. All right. So. So. Um. And then uh, script progress. I didn't touch the script, so it's still at like thirty. All right, no worries. I appreciate. <laughs> I just want to keep it updated. That's all. Um, and then the getting the character board is like 70, 80 percent ish. I um, seventy five. Let's go halfway. <laughs> I like threw a bunch of of uh, images I liked into a peer ref, but I haven't really like split them up and analyzed them and told like told myself why I like certain ones. So. Um, and then the asset list is a hundred percent done, although it can always be added to. So maybe we, I guess we should technically 99 it, but 99, 99 <laughs> forever. <laughs> it's done. It just, it can always be added to. Alrighty. So nice. Me? So that one is going to put screenshots and verbal because I've seen some of that stuff. Verbal. Okay, Colin, yeah, how are you doing with your progress? Um, well, I made a block out for the camera. Um, Let me add I've added to some more list. assets to both uh, block outs for the darkroom and the bedroom, but I'm still working on just kind of compiling things and finding little things to just add in there for each room. Okay. Why is everything in bold? Can we not? Thank you. Okay, so working on more items for the room. So we'll say that's at this percentage. Since uh, Chili has that item list down, if you can send that to me. Uh, uh, the item list is in the Google Doc link. So we are going to go and click the Google Doc link. It's okay. going to be, I believe, in Sheets. I think it's in Sheets. If I'm basing my memory correctly, and it's yeah. asset list by Chili. Okay, awesome. Yep, that's why we do this so that way you know where everything is, and I can go over where everything is document wise because <laughs> we're a little bit everywhere. And then yeah. um, camera block out, 
So that one's getting started on. So let's do, we're a quarter of the way through that. And then you got a decent amount done with the actual blocking, just needs decorating. So that's good. All right. Houston's not here. We're going to put not, not applicable. <laughs> just for today. Okay. John, how are you feeling with your stuff? Um, I have kind of just been taking a break because of that Steve stuff. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I spent Steve stuff. like four days straight on that thing. Um, but I'm my right now. I uh, I know I have to still have to block the hallway of stress thingy, but I I want to um start adding more to the station and get a better layout for that. Right. That's kind of where we start. But I will start the blocking the um the school thing over the weekend. So I will post pictures on the Discord like always. All right. Speaking of Steve stuff, Frenchie, how is your animation now that you have more time? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> Just <laughs> been uh, like uh, getting used to all this online, offline, online, offline. The schedule mm. is a little bit weird. Yeah, I need to try and log into the computers at school. I know. I yeah. Because I still haven't. Uh, it's, it's pretty wait, all right. Wait, yeah, ben, it's did not it, bad. Didn't you say, wait, so can we still use deadline? How does that work? Um, we didn't kinda. get a confirmation if that was okay to do because I a lot of people are remoting in. In my class, they said it was fine because it, 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 it'll log off people yeah. if they get on. Like it shouldn't bother them at all. Like it's right. the same deadline that we all know and love. Like I know Steve said he was supposed to get a confirmation from Chris Lemon on how we're supposed to use deadline for like dynamic sim and other cases, but um, he didn't really report back yesterday about that. So I might consider so, probing hmm. a bit, being like, "Hey, so like, what is the situation for this?" Hmm. Okay. For Houdini and stuff, you can do it. You just have to put your cash like on the sandbox. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's all you have to do. Um, everyone in my class sounded like like we had a bunch of lab monitors in there, and they're all like, oh, yeah, it's probably fine. So I don't know. Hmm. Again, I, I don't think it'll mess with anything anyone else is doing. So I would imagine it'd be fine, especially over spring break. I can't imagine there's that many people logging in, but yeah, yeah we'll it. see. The only conflict would be if you're doing this like during – uh, class time or whatever, maybe. Yeah, but even then, it should. If people log on, it should uh, not let Deadline use that computer. Yeah, um, it should auto shut it down. Yeah. So. Hmm. Okay. So I mean, because you're logging onto the computer essentially, so it right. should act exactly like people that are sitting there. Okay. So. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd imagine it's okay, but also. And it doesn't matter if we're together. remote. Deadline acts the same. Exactly. Yeah. Locally. Okay, I'll, I'll look into that later then, unless there's more, until there's more confirmation and stuff. Yes. Oh, do you want more water? Is that why you're pawing your bowl? That's probably why. One second. <laughs> so, cat, cat difficulties. <laughs> has, uh, has Steve decided if we can use Houdini or not for the hair? Um, I think, I don't know, because he was talking about how you could make it with or Natrix, and then use it as an end cloth. So I think you can, or not an end cloth, but uh, the the native who or uh, Maya simming for hair. I think so, it is. Uh, is it okay? Um, so I'm sure you could, and then you just like export it as like geometry or whatever. Or uh, what was he saying? They were. Uh, I, I was having trouble paying attention. Yeah. Um, what are they fucking called? You know what I mean? I, yeah. You, you export script. them as that. Yeah, nerve script. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and then you could sim it through whatever Maya's hair thing is. <laughs> X Gen. That's what it is. I thought so too. Okay. So I think so. I think he's gonna make it so you can use anything and just bring it all together. So if you have one that you like with X Gen already, you're probably okay. Yeah. It sounds true. like he's gonna go down that path, which would be ideal for me too, because again. I don't really want to try and log on and figure all that shit out. Like if I can do everything from home, yeah, for I, sure. I would like to do that. So I'm not sure. For real. Okay. Ryan, uh, how's Let's your blocking cleanup? 
Uh, honestly, haven't made much progress uh, <laughs> progress since uh, Wednesday, and kind of a bunch of deadlines piling up right before spring break. Of course, that's how everyone is right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, definitely we'll get a chance to work on that. Uh, Hopefully before next class, kind of stuff going on this weekend too. Yeah, no but uh, yeah, that's more or less about the same. <laughs> All right, I was like, so fifty fifty. <laughs> Brian, where's your animation? That, <laughs> that is not what this meeting is about. <laughs> John, we're not an animation class, God damn it. Uh, it is in a state where I'd be kind of okay with showing it. So. Oh, good, good, cool, cool. In the coming days, maybe. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to get a get a camera soon, Ryan? Uh, oh, a webcam. Uh, it was a real big bitch to find. I, I actually haven't like. I didn't. I didn't think it was too much of an upper priority. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really not. It's not. No. It's just, just you know. I literally, I tried looking at like every Best Buy, and all the ones by me are just closed. Yeah. If anything, I could use my phone if you guys really want to see my my beautiful face. <laughs> in the future, in the future of course, not right I think now. it just kind of it, it just helps with the mental space of like we can't physically see each other so it's kind of like at least having right. facial reactions yeah okay Houston is at work okay uh, I think Isaiah is I appreciate his, someone yeah, Isaiah is that him, him messaging so I'm surprised yeah. he's still at work though yeah I know Cause Cause even my well, he might he, he might works. be doing running <clears throat> yeah he oh, works yeah. restaurant so he might be working like delivery waiter Mm. Or popper, like finisher for the food. Yeah. At it Mellow, they would category. use us as delivery people if there was like a special order anyways. And for catering and stuff like that, they would just like, know your server, but like go walk several blocks. <laughs> <laughs> just walk several blocks away. No big deal. Yeah, you know. I like that in addition to a fucking plague, we also decided to get bad snow today. Right. Yeah, the snow. At least because of the plague, you don't have yeah. to go outside. That's true. That's we don't get said. snow days, though. Although, <laughs> so when it was off. like, when it was blizzarding, my remote connection just, like, died. Yeah, I was having some. So. Yeah, my power went off for, like, a second right when I was in the middle of trying to start up Houdini. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it was yeah I think if you are able to and you're having a lot of connection issues, just quickly like message if you have to go to like a Zoom meeting or whatever, like, hey, so the storm's messing up my connection. I might be kind of dead. <laughs> yeah, I well, like the Zoom meeting one was my Wi Fi just turning off basically because my roommate lost connection too. Oh, dear. And uh, that was shitty because that happens every now and again. And we got an email from our, our internet provider and they're like, we understand that your internet is ha going through problems. We are trying to fix it. No need to email us. <laughs> I'm like, all right, okay. That was a, that's a full on uh, trying to disregard the situation, but yeah, um, <laughs> and yeah, whatever. But um, so that happened, and that that like kicked me out of Steve's class for a little bit. So I missed most to all of Steve's class. Was and, he recording it? Yeah, least? he was recording it. That's the only and part. also, also he was going over Marvelous, and I think I'd just rather look up a Marvelous tutorial. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> honestly, like, uh, I couldn't see a majority of the stuff he was clicking because it was so small on the screen. Yeah. Okay. So, eh. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Whatever. But, um, yeah, so that happened. And then, <clears throat> and then when I was working on, uh, Comcast Center stuff, uh, I was, like, it got so, it got, like, one kilobyte per second. Is that the right? That'd be real slow. Yeah. Because, really because, so every once in a while, I'd, like, go to the top of the thing where it shows you what speed you're remoting at, and it would be one kilobyte per second, and then it would jump to, like, 120, and then jump back down to, like, five. And it would yeah, do that shit. That's pretty bad. Jesus. Yeah, and yeah. So real bad. Eventually, I just like logged out and was like, I'll just wait and maybe do stuff on this computer stuff. So I tried to use my 2018, which is on this computer, and I was getting real weird stuff. I posted it in Telegram. Oh dear. Uh, in the Duke herd, 
one, but it's basically like I'd click on something and another object would get selected, but then the second I start moving it, the object I originally wanted to click would start moving um, in the That's, direction. Hmm. Um, there was this thing with like the rotation rings were in their axes, but all over the place, which I've never seen before. Like oh, the little, yeah. like, blue, was, red, yellow, green rings. Weird looking. We're just all over, like, I'll, I'll post it to the, uh, Discord's too train, technical difficulties. Train of thought. <laughs> okay. Um, in the meanwhile, I will do the final right. check-in for Cameron real quick. So uh, just your female friend character board, how's that going? Yeah, I've got that started. Um, I've got uh, hairstyles and character design laid out in Photoshop. So I can post those and see what you guys think. And then Good. I started remodeling the uh, tree monster last night and i've gotten up to the torso so far i just started in maya this time instead of uh zbrush so uh just wasn't working out as well last time so i figured if i model it it'll work better and then i'll have uvs and everything already um so yeah i'll probably have that tree monster done by tomorrow night i would say okay cool uh, that's uh much faster pace than expected but then again it's doing something you enjoy doing <laughs> i'm locked <Yeah>. inside <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything else, Kay. <laughs> and I don't play games anymore, so. Oh, well, that's a shame. I was yeah. like, that's all I do, so. Yeah. <laughs> that's I was gonna say, literally the second I logged in, I was like, oh, Ben's playing Doom Eternal. What? Yeah, I don't know. I was way too hardcore in a while, so I just had to like drop everything. Oh, and just like mm, take yep. a step back. You're like, what yep. the fuck? I get just. I play like RPGs where you just have to grind it, so it just sucks because they're so time consuming. Right. I know the feeling as as a fellow RPG player who puts way too much time and effort into those fucking things. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, well, I can either focus on school and get a job or I can play video games nonstop. So. <laughs> yeah. Why not both? Because <laughs> it makes life way harder. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Just never nope. sleep. Yeah, nope. exactly. That was not what I wanted. Those are hella chunky. But yeah, that was me with Fallout 3. I literally played that game to the point where I realized that enemies don't respawn in it. So I yeah. literally cleared the entirety of downtown DC in that game to where I could walk around with no weapons naked and I'd be fine. <laughs> I got that way with WoW, um, Skyrim, Fallout 4, Divinity, yep. Original Sin, Path of Exile. So oh, all shit, those. Fallout 4 too. Oh my god. Yeah. I made a concrete bunker with just a shit ton of power armor in it. <laughs> I just remembered that. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh yeah, I uh, I love playing RPGs so much. That's how I kind of am with Borderlands Three right now, though to a far lesser extent. I've I reined myself Marwind in for getting me into it. If you remember that one, which one? Morrowind. Oh yep, yep. Yeah, fuck That's those what... birds. <laughs> that really got me into it. So, yeah, that and for me it was yeah for me it was Oblivion and then Fallout Three right after. Yeah. The Oblivion scared me at first because I totally got like turned off by it because of the fucking like zombie in the opening crawl, and yeah. I was playing it but I was like super fucking tired and it was like two in the morning, and I was like oh shit and it like turned me off for like a week because I thought I, I think I had gotten it confused with Amnesia because they both have like a similar modeling style. Mm. And like that one zombie looks uh, exactly like one of the monsters in Amnesia, and I was like, "Shit, I don't like horror games." And then like I went yeah, back to it a week I later, and I was that. like, "Oh shit, that's right. This is just an RPG." Yeah, there's like a couple horror side missions, I guess, with the vampire and like the black hand and stuff like yep. that. But... Yeah. Though it still has the best Dark Brotherhood mission, where you get to literally play a game of Clue, but you know you're the murderer. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that mission so much. Uh, you'd like Outer Worlds then. Yeah. This by the yeah. guys who did Fallout New Vegas. It's so good. Nice. Uh, IT. So fixed check in. So any other things that like came up that you're having issues with or any like concerns of like what direction we're going? Just general on the same page stuff. <laughs> I think we're mostly good. Mostly. <laughs> 
I have to <laughs> ask because I can never good. be sure. <laughs> we're still good. All right. <laughs> well, we're still good. We're still good. So far. Okay, so I'm going to change this because I'm not checking in daily. I'm checking Monday, Wednesday, and Friday only. Are we doing check in on spring break? I mean, I don't care either way. I just. Yeah. I would think like maybe just like Wednesday on spring break. Maybe just a quick check up with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, that was my thought. If we're all like want to just take spring honestly... break and like relax for fucking once, I'm good with that too. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah cool I mean, either way, I like this isn't really. I honestly forgot that spring break existed, and since I'll be doing my work work anyways, <laughs> like right. it's yeah. basically like I'm in the same place doing the same, if not a tiny bit less, because I don't have to do class stuff. Like the Mostly same amount of work roughly. The same. <laughs> yeah, we're all in the same oh spot God. anyway, so it almost we're doesn't all... matter. <laughs> yeah. You could say spring around. break already started in a way. Yeah. yeah. Turned around. The rest of the semester spring break. Yeah. <laughs> Is Calypso loafing at the door? Yeah, she's loafing at the door just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one coming in, Calypso. <laughs> Because Andrew left this morning to go have, uh, uh, I heard Korean uh, Korean barbecue with his girlfriend, and I don't know how that's happening given the, yeah. the current state of affairs. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the Korean barbecue place on 16th Street, that actually was really good. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're like what they're planning to do if like ordering out. Because I also mildly heard him say, "Oh, we're gonna make it ourselves." Which um, is like, real fun, <laughs> no. given the no. fact that neither of them know how to barbecue, and I've Ooh. witnessed that. <laughs> Ooh, that <laughs> oh fun. dear God, that's uh, interesting. All right, hey, yeah. Frenchie. Yo. Uh, real quick, is there anything else you uh, wanted to check in with me on? Just because I might we're work meeting it too, and I gotta start getting ready for that. Yeah, no worries. Um, that was really uh, it. It was just to check in on the progress of what you said you'd be working on. Um, and if you wanted to add anything else to that list of things. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, if, sounds good. If you need to head out, then head out. All right. Well, yeah, go for it. Nice seeing y'all. Nice yeah. seeing you. Nice Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. cool. See you later. Take care, dude. Catch you later, man. All right. I'm going to, like, pause the recording part just because uh, I don't, like, if we get into tangent mode, I don't want to record us going into tangent mode. <laughs> who, who is distraught? Who's distracted? I'm distracted. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, me too. I got a message from someone who is distro that was very much like, don't wear your binder during COVID-19 because it's dangerous. What? Distro. And I don't know There's who a whole this bunch person of... is. Okay. Um, where did it go? Oh, that option disappeared. There we go.